everybody on YouTube, Thrift School over here, coming at you with a video. Basically, I don't know why I've never even made a video about this. I kind of just realized it and said, you know what, this is a great, great, great idea because there's a lot of people out there that, you know, sell courses or they sell products or books that talk about, oh, the best clothing brands. And now that's awesome and that's good. I'm actually all for that, especially if you just want to find the best ones right away without doing a lot of research because doing research, you know, can definitely take time. And that's why, you know, you spend five or 10 bucks, get all the best ones right there in a perfect format. That's good to go. But I'm more or less, well, more going to be helping you guys figure out all the brands, how to do it for free. And it's a perfect database that's already built into eBay. So if you guys are excited for this, remember to give it a thumbs up. I'm going to share my screen right now. We'll go into Q&A later, but right now I just really want to show you my screen. I'll give myself a little bubble down there and we'll get into it. Here we go. We are now screen sharing. So what I'm looking at right here is eBay. I typed in a brand that I already know. So here is a freebie for you guys. If you don't know this brand, Peter Millar, good brand. Definitely look out for it. But now I scroll down and I clicked on one of the listings. Easy enough, right? So now what we want to do, this is just the quickest way. You just type in a brand and do it like this. Go down to sell now and a whole selling page will pop right up. So you scroll on down, you get to the item specifics and brand is Peter Millar. So what you can do is click on this little drop down and I'm sure most people know this, especially if they sell clothing, but this is actually such a great tool because I'm able to just go through, scroll through and look at brands. Now, obviously we all know brands like Adidas, Aeropostel, um, Airwalk. Well, actually I don't know Airwalk. I'm thinking of Air Jordans, um, Alfani. So these are brands that are popular, but now scroll through and then let's find a brand never heard of before. Now I'm doing this right off the cusp. I don't know. You know, I, I haven't researched any of these before, so it might be a good one. It might be a bad one, but we're going to just pick a random brand. Let's do um, Buckwear, B-U-C-K-W-E-A-R. So let me uh, pull myself back up right here. So what I'm basically doing here is just doing a little bit of research based off of everything that eBay gives you. They give you hundreds and hundreds of brands right there at your fingertips and now scroll through and click on the ones that you like so what i'm doing right now is opening up another ebay um, page and we're going to look this brand up so let's actually go back to sharing my screen so here we are back at my screen and i'm going to type in that buck where sure let's see what comes up so nothing really came up there let's actually get rid of shirt maybe it's not shirts um that they make uh Okay, so Buckwear NRA. Um, so this doesn't really seem like a brand that we really want to be looking for. This seems like a whole different kind of outdoorsy type thing. Oh, hello, Gerson Estrada. So we're actually going to go right back over, go right back down to the brands. We're going to scroll and let's try Burma Bibas. Bibas? Bibas? I don't know. Burma Bibas. So let's see what comes up. Burma there it is. All right. So looks like um, not a great brand because we have a buy it now at $12 right there. But that's not always the case because I've seen Patagonia's and other shirts at, you know, $8 buy it nows. So that doesn't always mean that it's a bad brand. So we're actually going to sort it um, by sold listings. So let's see how well this brand sells. All right, so look at that. Here's $20 right there. This person took a best offer, $14, $17.49. And look at how often it sells. These are all from yesterday. Look at this, end date, July 4th. So in one day, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 shirts sold in one day. One day based off of what I'm seeing right here. So and if you're looking at this average price, we see $16, $17.49, $35, $19, um, you know, $16. So we're looking between $15 and $20, I'd say, conservatively. So now if you see this at a thrift store for, you know, $1 to $5, it seems like it'd be a pickup. 
Now, it looks like the crazier the design, the more it sells for. They're like crazy button-up, kind of beachy style shirts, geometric patterns and things like that. Um, so definitely Burma, Bibis, B-I-B-A-S. I know I'm not pronouncing that right. It doesn't sound right. But there is already a perfect example of how this tool can help you find clothes and help you do your research. Now, you can always just type in men's button-down shirt and sort it from the most expensive to the least expensive. But how you're not going to find every single brand at least this way you're kind of getting yourself acquainted with the actual brand right away so we see burberry we all know burberry is a good brand um i've never heard of byblos so let's look up that byblos so byblos um looks like they do ties and sunglasses they also do some shirts and uh, perfume okay so this is interesting here this is a, a clothing brand but they also make a whole bunch of different things now the sell through one you know let's go to completed listings not just sold listings um, you know th th things are selling it seems like they mostly do sunglasses and ties and perfumes but nothing too amazing this is something I probably wouldn't keep an eye out for so let's actually go down to another one let's try um, let's do a brand called uh, Canada Goose. Never heard of Canada Goose before. So, okay, so it seems like it's a women's brand, mostly. Okay, so Canada Goose, we're getting uh, lots of different things. So I'm going to type in shirt. Okay, so we're getting not too many, not too many things. Um, you know, just seems like just like a basic shirt thing. So we're not even going to bother with that. And this is the thing that you have to realize when you're doing the research, what a lot of people don't like doing. I'm not even going through all of them. I'm skipping down so far. Now, if you wanted to take the time, you could compile a list of some great sellers and do your research just like that. So I know this brand. Maybe some of you don't. The brand is Canali. It's definitely come down a lot in, um, you know, recent years or even in recent months, to be honest. So I'm going to type in... Uh, Canali shirt. Let's see what comes up. We will do sold listings. And here we go. Yeah, the sell through, you know, not the best. One, two, three, four, five, six shirts in one day, which was yesterday, especially on a slow day. It was 4th of July, so that's not too bad, but it's already almost 5 p.m. today and only one Canali shirt has sold. So it's definitely not the, the fastest seller anymore. Right here, somebody sold one for $11.99, $10.99, but this one went for $50, new without tags. Um, Canali does a lot of suits and a lot of things like that. So if you typed in Canali suit, or I think they also make shoes. So like, the prices obviously are going to be a little bit higher. This one went for $143. Uh, you know, new, obviously, they're going to go for more money. This one went for $38. This one went for $157. Um, you know, $30 for some used ones. I, the brand used to be worth a lot more and demand more money. Nowadays, it doesn't really, from what I've seen lately, demand as high of money. I mean, this is also a good opportunity to try and snipe some things. So here's a brand I'm sure 99% of you know about it. But let, let's just look it up. Patagonia. Type that in. Uh, oh, let me actually be a little more specific. I'll do Patagonia shirt. And we'll just, we're in men's right now. So we can see that the average sell price of a Patagonia shirt, it definitely fluctuates. So we see right here, $22, $15, $15, $38 for a new one, $21 because they make all these different kinds of things. So here's somebody sold a lot of two for only $18. This guy sold one for $35. So it really fluctuates everywhere. But now we know that it looks like... um. Yeah, is this long sleeve right here? Yeah, long sleeve button up went for $35 plus $5 shipping. It's a flannel. So we can type in, and this is where the research is on these brands. We can just type in Patagonia uh, flannel, right? See what comes up. We have 498 sold results. Seems like the flannels obviously go for more money. We're looking at 40-ish bucks, 25, 30, 35. This one only went for $11.95 because that was a buy it now. Somebody priced it low. So maybe if they had a best offer, you offer nine bucks. It's worth it to snipe it over on eBay, which is a great way to make money, a really good way to make money, actually. So what I'm going to do right now is actually show you how simple that is. 
we're looking up Patagonia flannel. We're going to do price shipping, lowest first. And just take a quick look. So here's one right here. This looks almost identical to one of the ones that sold for $35. It's, it looks like it's heavier cotton. It's a flannel, men's size medium, all good things, organic cotton. $7.75 shipping, $0.99. Cents. Now, this is definitely something I'd probably place a bid on. You get it for just about $8.75, so under $9.00. You could probably easily flip it for 30, maybe 35 or 40. That's if you win it at that 99 cent bid. Now, the reason why I'm not doing it is I'm leaving soon for vacation. So I personally am not going to be placing any bids because I'm not going to be here. I don't want packages packing up outside my house. But we'll go back and we'll see if there's any buy it nows possibly. So let's click on buy it now and see how low people are pricing it. So right here we have a women's size small. Now, we weren't really checking women's, so we don't know uh the price difference sometimes women's clothing sells for less or more than men's clothing this one nine dollars plus 339 shipping that is extremely cheap um but it does look like the majority are listed right here instantly i mean we're up at 20 now now we're 20 seems to be where a lot of people are pricing them a little bit higher a little bit higher but i mean this is obviously very cheap but let's let's get out of patagonia and let's look up another brand because that's what this video is about never heard of this brand before Carolina Herrera. So let's let's check that out. Carolina Herrera. So it's uh, it seems to be women's clothing, women's dresses and fragrances. So that's not something that we really want to look into, especially I mean, for me, anyways. So let's um try just looking for ones that I've never heard of before in my life. How about Cezanne? C E Z N I. I think I've seen those in ties before. Cezanne. Maybe not. All right. So we see one for $10, free shipping. We're not at the complete listings. Let's click on sold. Whoops, I clicked on deals and savings. Let's click on sold and see what we get. It doesn't seem like it's one of, you know, a great brand by the looks of these prices. Um, no, it sells for about 10 bucks. This guy got 18 because it's a nice silk button down. Um, this one's silk also and only went for 10 though, 99 cents. Uh, that's yeah, Paradise Collection by Cezanne. Now this would have actually been kind of a nice snipe. Uh, 99 cents plus only 357. So that's this person paid under five dollars for this silk. Is it silk? Um, we could take a quick look down here. It doesn't even say. So that's probably another reason why I went so cheap. Uh, no, it's rayon and polyester. You definitely, when you're looking for shirts and stuff, rayon and polyester doesn't do very well. These pictures are atrociously bad. I mean, these are these are bad pictures. But I mean, the person has 100% positive feedback, lots of reviews. Uh, so hey, you know what works for somebody works, I guess. <laughs> so let's let's try another brand real quick, and then I'll take a look at the live chat feed that's going on. This is a brand that used to sell for a lot, then it kind of dipped down, and now it's going back up. It's kind of weird. Charles Thurwit or Thyrit. I call it throw it. So let's take a quick look at that. Type in Charles. What? There it is, right there. And we will do sold listings, of course, because we want to see what's actually selling. And there's all different kinds of things. And this kind of goes with Brooks Brothers, which is also another great brand. Um, they all have different factors. So just a regular button up is going to be worth less than a non-iron slim fit or a non-iron extra slim fit. These little factors help make clothes worth more money or less money. But what we're seeing right here, these ones are brand new. Uh, it's probably new without tags, I would think, because it went for so, yeah, new without tags. So some people just say new, and I feel like new without tags is very hard to judge to see if it's actually new or not. Yeah, who knows what people are selling. But you can see the sell-through is pretty good. I mean, the fifth, fifth, fifth. I mean, all these shirts just sold today. That's a very good seller. Now, new without tags, 30 bucks. It looks like used, you can maybe get about 15 bucks for it. This one only went for 961. But here's 15, 15, 15, 15. This one went for 20. So it's about 15. This one only went for 1349, but it was 55% off. This one went for 24. So it's a good brand the price has definitely come down a lot it used to i actually used to sell these for about 25 and now i do have a bunch that i obviously have to lower my prices because they're still at that higher price point so we want to lower the prices down to 15 or whatever you know 16 17 somewhere around there just to get them to move get them out 
because maybe the price will just keep going down. Maybe it's not a hot brand anymore. Brands come and go so fast. Perfect, perfect example of a brand that has seen its, you know, hoo-ha or whatever you want to come into. Huh? <laughs> it's heyday. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> not, uh, a brand that's seen its heyday and it's not so popular anymore is the North Face. This brand used to be worth so, so, so much money. And we'll type in the North Face um, button. So we'll get like a button shirt. And look at this, guys. People are starting these bids real low. We'll click on sold listings. 774, 999, 11 bucks, 15, nine dollars again, um, ten dollars. Lots of best offers. Even a best offer being taken on a twelve dollar shirt. So the North Face, yeah, I saw its heyday. They they also do jackets, and a lot of the jackets have gone down in price. Also, now it could type in jackets. It could be because it's summer. Jackets aren't going to sell that well. But take a look at this: a micro fleece jacket for nine seventy. Um, this is brand new with tags, so it went for a hundred, but I mean, you could definitely see a men's right here that this is something, a nice zip fleece would normally go for, you know, 25, $35. Now it's going for $13, sometimes 10 brand new with tags. You're looking at $15. So this is a brand that has gone up and down. Now it's down. So we'll take a look at another, we'll look at one more real quick. I'll check the live feed. And then we will continue on for a few for a few more brands. So let's try the brand Chrome Hearts. Sounds like a women's brand. Never heard of it. Chrome Hearts. It's mostly sunglasses and stuff. That's stuff that comes up first. That's stuff that I'm kind of trying kind of trying to avoid. We want to be looking up clothing brands itself. Let's try Citrone. So Citrone shirt. I don't know. Uh, okay, so. Citroen seems like it's a women's. There's a kimono. Went for 80. Here's another thing. Okay, so it's it's a women's brand. Um, they do, you know, it looks like. Um, and you see, it says bamboo. So I was gonna say Asian style clothing, kimonos and things like that. They actually go for pretty good prices. We're looking at 40, 40, 38, and there's a men's. Um, wow, that's actually a cool shirt. It's linen. Okay, so here's a cool brand. Never heard of it before, um, but it seems like the women's. Uh, silk kimono style things that are actually very ugly in my opinion, but ugly does sell and it seems like that the Kimonos look at that this tank top went for $44. Okay, so it's definitely a good brand Especially in the women's sector to keep an eye out for I mean if you sell women's clothing look for the brand Citrone. So I'm gonna come right back to your main screen Hello, hello. Take a look at the chat feed and see what's going on. I uh, don't know how many people we have viewing right now. We have about 24 people, so that's pretty cool. How's it going, everybody? I'm going to shout a few people out real quick. We have Kitty Love, Hoovy the Real, Logan Weiss Vlogs, Common Peace, Brooke Barone, um, Progressive G, Magic0103, Darren, Brian Pudney, um, and Bearded Thrifter. So what is up, everybody? Uh, somebody says, look up Canada Goose Jacket. They are very expensive. Okay, so that's actually something that we can look up in a minute. Um, Magic0103 is a fellow Connecticut seller. That is awesome. Hello, hello. Um, thank you, Progressive G. Says that um, I have a great channel. I totally agree. Looks like you still have that shirt pile, lol, says Brooke Brown. Yes, so I do have a shirt pile here. I was listing it. I'm actually making a video about listing these shirts. I'm trying to bang out as many as I can before I leave for vacation. I did about... 15 to 18 shirts, I believe, somewhere around there. Uh, in one sitting, I just banged them out, banged them out, banged them out. They're all listed, good to go. So this pile, it looks tall, but it was taller. At 15 shirts isn't a lot. I thought, you know, I thought maybe I had like maybe 20 to 25 shirts per stack. Way wrong, because 15 hardly made a dent. I mean, if we just count this, we have another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, or 30 still sitting there. So these are probably closer to 40 to 50 pieces of clothing per stack. And there's a lot of great brands in here. I do have another video on my channel talking about random clothing brands from these piles right here that um, are really good brands to sell, uh, like Brooks Brothers, Patagonia, Peter Millar, things like that. Uh, you can check that out in my older videos. It basically, it's nearly the same uh, title as this. I think it's called Best Best Clothing Brands to Sell on eBay or something like that. So pretty interesting. Let's uh, take 
a look at these comments again real quick. Uh, Mario Bal uh, Balandro Jr. says, how are the Tommy Bahama shirts selling for you? So Tommy Bahama was selling amazingly for me. I was knocking them out of the park between $25 and up. I actually sold one for $100. I sold one for $50. And then about $25, a lot, a lot in the $20 range. I have not sold a Tommy Bahama shirt in over, oh my gosh, it's got to be close to a month now that I haven't sold a Tommy Bahama shirt. And I have about 20 something listed. So I'm not sure what happened. Uh, most of mine are in that 20 to $25 range right now. But at summer, you would think that they'd be selling right now, but they're just not moving. There are a There is a huge influx of people selling Tommy Bahama. So I'm actually going to drop my prices on them and get them to move um, because I'm coming back from vacation in August. I'll be getting the tail end of summer, so I got to drop those prices, try and get them to move, and um, try and recoup all my money. Uh, One Stirring Pot says, happy early birthday, Thrift School. Us moody cancers rock. Totally agree. My birthday is in three days on the 8th, so it's going to be cool. Uh, Logan Weiss Vlog says, do you have a personal or a business account? I have a business account. Um, well, I, on, on eBay, I have a storefront, so I pay $60 a month, which... I don't know. I haven't been listing too, too much lately. And so I don't know if I should have upgraded to that, but I do have over 300 items in my store right now. So I think having that, paying that $60 is helpful for running sales and things like that. Um, da Darren says eBay's overloaded. No traffic to my items. Local game is better. Yeah. I mean, it's different for everybody. Local game sucks around me just for me. I don't know. I've never done well with local game buying and selling. Uh, sometimes I'll find some good things to buy, but never selling. I've always had horrible luck selling locally. Um, I think most brands of jeans are saturated. Not all, though. Yeah, I mean, it's very it's very different. I mean, some brands of jeans do really well. Some don't. I don't do jeans too much. I have one pair of Rock Revival right here that I think I paid 5 bucks for that I never listed. And um, I have a pair of Tommy Bahama jeans down here, I believe. Maybe a couple other uh, brands of jeans, but I, I haven't really done jeans so, so much. Um, so let's go back and we're going to look at three more brands real quick and then we're going to call this stream quits. So let's pull this guy up. Hello again. So here we are looking at the clothing. We are going to pick, we're going to scroll way down. Here we go. Steven Land. Steven Land. So Steven Land. Sure. I don't know if he makes shirts, but yeah, there he is. Okay, cool. Oh, not very good. 10 bucks, 30 bucks new. So, yeah, definitely not something we want to keep an eye out for unless you find it at the bins, I guess, for super cheap. Let's try Stoic. S T O I C. S T O I C shirt. Um, Stoic. I don't know if that's actually the brand. Uh, this definitely isn't something that. I think we'd be finding very often. It seems like it's a lot of new stuff. So we won't even count these two. We'll try Stone Island. Never heard of Stone Island before. So Stone Island shirt. Here we go. Um, wow. Brand new with tag $71. Right here, brand new, $187. Here's a used one for $30. Uh, Men's Stone Island went for $19 used. Seems like the polos do the best. Here's one Stone Island Marina logo, $80. Holy moly, $107. So let's take a look at the logo here. It seems like it's a European brand because that's from Great Britain. So let's, uh, let's take a look. Hold on. So there's the brand, Stone Island. Is there a close-up of it? Right there, stoneisland.com. I mean, their stuff seems like it's worth some good money. I've never seen it, but I've never really looked for Stone Island. I mean, you could normally tell if the quality feels good when you're uh, picking up shirts. So if the quality was good, I probably would have grabbed it. But I mean, this seems like it's a very well-selling, look at this t-shirt right here, $103. Um, vintage Stone Island, 80 bucks. I mean, this is definitely something you want to uh, keep an eye out for. Let's take one more look, see if this is the exact same thing. Same logo and all. Um, no, this is something a little different. So, uh, not Stone Island. Yeah, very, very interesting. Okay, 
So that's a cool brand. Definitely keep an eye out, eye out for Stone Island. Let's try one more. Then we're done. Let's try um, Sundog. Never heard of Sundog. Whoops. So let's go back to eBay real quick. Sundog shirt. All right. So Sundog seems to be like tie-dye style. Um, let's click on sold and take a look here. Rhode Island t-shirt. Okay, so it's mostly tie-dye. Uh, how's the sell through? Uh, not a lot to sell, but it seems like they make um, band t-shirts. So band t-shirts are definitely something that you want to keep an eye out for. A lot of them are worth some good money. Grateful Dead, of course, $21 used, uh, $24. I, well, I'm not sure if they're used. I believe they are. Let's take a click. And yeah, pre-owned. So, I mean, that's also with $5.25 shipping. Holy moly. So yeah, these are definitely a, a good good brand of shirts sundog and they make grateful dead shirts and they make tie-dye shirts and um it's crazy to think that i mean stuff like this 2750 for for this shirt right here that's all it is it's just red and orange tie-dye <laughs> 2750 the guy has two of them he already sold one seems like a good freaking shirt to be selling look at that one right there of course grateful dead stuff just tends to sell pretty well um Look at all these. I mean, thirty dollars. Holy cow! This one only went for ten fifty because this person did a bidding. I wouldn't. If I were to start an auction, I would definitely start it higher. Let's see. Do you think he started at ninety nine cents? I have a feeling he started at ninety nine cents. He started right there, ninety nine cents. So he did get a good amount of bids, but it only went up to ten fifty. I personally think I would have, if I were to start bidding on this by looking at how this brand sells, I would have started bidding at about. $14.99 or $19.99. Personally, I wouldn't even do the bidding. I would do buy it now at about $24.99 and kind of wait it out. That seems like how this, how good this shirt does. That's actually a really cool shirt with uh, Apollo 11 on the moon. I like that. Um, I'm going to take a little look in the comments one more time and then I am heading out. Um, got, got sold fake Yeezys, Xavier says. Uh, if you got sold, if they were fake and you bought them on eBay, contact eBay, contact the seller. First, contact the seller and be like, hey, these are fake. I would like a return. Return them. He'd probably give them back to you. He'll probably give you a return. If he's, you know, saying, no, they're real, no, they're real, just return them anyways. Just open up a return, send them back. You don't really have to start anything. I mean, it's pretty easy there. Um, uh, Kareem Williams says, what's going on, Thrift School? When am I coming to Arizona? I will be in Arizona, um, hopefully the 5th, no, I will be there the 15th, I believe, around the 15th of July. I'm leaving on the 10th, my birthday's on the 8th, and Connecticut kills you guys. Connecticut is horrible. I, I have to go get my license renewed at the DMV. That's going to cost me $75. You have to, I have to get my registration renewed, but that's next month. So I'm actually holding off till right after vacation. That's $90. And then Connecticut makes you pay a car tax every year on your car for no reason. Mine's $107. So all of this comes in and I got to go get an oil changed. I just got my AC repaired for $310. So this is a pain in the butt, but that's Connecticut and they just kill you no matter, no matter what they, whenever you think you're getting ahead. They're like, no, we're going to beat you right back down. And that's just the way it is. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I showed you guys some brands. Hopefully you use this technique to actually look up these brands. Just go follow the video. Go exactly where I showed you to go. Click on the brands and just start scrolling. Find ones that you've never heard of before. Citroen, that's a freaking awesome women's kimono shirt that I would have normally never picked up. And look at it now. It's selling for about $40. So that's totally something I would keep an eye out for now. If I run by it, I don't really go through the women's section, but if I, you know, happen to see it, maybe I want the new racks to get pushed out, I'll grab it if it's, you know, $5. It's awesome, 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 awesome stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up before you leave. Comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School signing out.